Welcome inside Scotiabank Arena where you have a couple Raptors on the court right now getting in a little shoot around before the game. That right there is Chris Boucher. He just turned 30 yesterday. Also on the court driving to the rim is Malachi Flynn. The Raptors getting ready to host Charlotte Hornets. And if that sounds like deja vu, it's because they just played Charlotte here on Tuesday, beating them tonight. They're hoping to extend their win streak till three. And there was a little bit of good news before tip off today. As of right now, it looks like a Toronto Raptor is heading to the All-Star game. Pascal Siakam remains sixth in all-star fan voting among East Front Court players in the second fan returns. If Pascal in fact does book a ticket to the all-star game in Utah next month, it will be his second time making the all-star team in his career. The first time he made it was back in 2020 when Raptors head coach Nick Nurse was also the head coach of the Eastern All-Star roster. And he believes Pascal has had an All-Star season this year. Yeah, I mean, listen, he's had a, he's had a really good year um, as far as just production and his play and, and he's, he's, had, he's kind of playing it all around there. The starters will be announced on January 26th. And do you know the last time the Toronto Maple Leafs held an All-Star game? Well, this was one of the top songs. It's always great when they get to play a little Ricky Martin story, but it was the year 2000. She bangs one of the top hits, and Leafs forward Nick Robertson wasn't even born yet. There are reports that Toronto is in the mix to host the NHL All-Star Game next year. This year's All-Star Game, so far Mitch Marner will be heading to Florida to participate. Tonight, the Leafs are in Detroit after beating Nashville at home on Wednesday. They played Wednesday night without Austin Matthews, who is dealing with an undisclosed injury. As for tonight's game, is Matthews in or out? We'll see. We've got some game time decisions here tonight, so we won't have all that sorted until later on. All right, so there's that. We're still in limbo about whether or not he will play tonight. And we are still months away from the Blue Jays' home opener, but much to some fans' delight, MLB.com released their predictions for the next 10 World Series. And much to some fans' surprise, they have the Blue Jays in the World Series this year and losing to the L.A. Dodgers. Do you think the Blue Jays will make it to the World Series this year? I'd like to say I hope they would. Um, I don't think they will, but fingers crossed they definitely do, though. Losing to who? The Dodgers. We've got some good acquisitions over the offseason, but I think we can get more than one. They only have us in there for one, but I think we'll get to more than one in 10 years. It's a long time, and we've got some young guys, so I think it's pretty good. The Dodgers? <laughs> really? 100% <laughs> we got this. World Series this year might be a little fresh, but playoffs, yeah. Okay. They're better than what the Leafs can do, right? And some fantastic Canadian soccer news today. Canadian midfielder Jessie Fleming, she was named a finalist for the best FIFA Women's Player of the Year. Also, Canadian head, head coach Bev Priestman, she was named and shortlisted for the best FIFA Women's Coach. We will find out the winners of those awards in February.